So a drum roll please for all of the trends. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fashion Design with Hannah. Today we'll be going over Vogue and L March 2021 trends. And if you couldn't tell, these issues are getting heavy again with plenty of content to share with you. So I will be cutting the fluff out of here. Nope. And keeping them as short eh, as possible. Hey everyone, so this is Editing Hannah. I know I look so different from regular Hannah. Uh, but I just came to tell you that I was halfway through editing all the content for this video and realized this would be way too long of a video for so many people if I combined it all into one. So I'm going to make this into two parts and part one is this week it will be Vogue and hopefully I'll be able to get out part two which is solely dedicated to L next week. So stay tuned for that and let me know in the comments down below if you feel like a two-parter video is more your style or you'd prefer one ridiculously long video. So without further ado, let's get on to the trends. All right, so as promised, I'm going to try and keep this as quick as possible while still giving the style breakdown. So let's start with Gigi right here and Vogue. And here we go. So we're starting off with Louis Vuitton, an oversized bomber jacket over what looks to be a knit dress, possibly a jumpsuit with some stripe contrast right here. And over here we have some play with prints, which I am really enjoying. Kind of looks like graffiti mix and some bold pops of color to go with it. And it looks like we have some voluminous sleeves right here, along with a mini dress link. And as we open up, we have a black classic double-breasted coat. Not much to say here as it is too dark to really tell the details. And over here, we have some fun mix with prints and stripes going on in what looks like a pair of shorts and possibly a full leather top. But wait, there's more. So here we have a pair of luminous pants that are belted in with an engineered floral print going down the center of the legs paired with a striped top. And over here we have some luminous pants with abstract print on them and a long trench coat to balance out with a graphic printed t-shirt. Louis Vuitton's really being a big spender here. So as you can see we have the long dress trend continuing and with a Dixie floral going into spring which is a classic and I am thoroughly enjoying this leg slit. I'll tell you what I can see in the details as this is very dark for me as well. We have a plunging neckline that is Coming in at the side, this might be a jumpsuit as far as I can tell and has very voluminous legs down here at the bottom and dramatic length to go with it. She is walking nowhere. Then we switch gears going on over to Gucci with some 60s and 70s vibes here. I love the florals that we have represented and I'm enjoying the voluminous pants and this mini skirt action we have here and a denim vest to go with. And then on the left we have a monochromatic outfit. This is a peachy pink filled with a nice brighter pink and a softer pink for the pants. From this angle, I'd say it's either an oversized jacket or a blazer. Now over here on the right side, I'd say we have some voluminous bottoms, either culottes or a skirt that would probably blend in with the upholstery or the drapes of the time period. And we have some voluminous sleeves returning once again. And I do enjoy this nice kind of creamsicle light orange going on over here. And then on the left you see we have polos, which that is something that I'm seeing a lot more of, and a short sleeve jacket with some gold buttons. Now if you saw my last trend review, you'd say that this looks pretty familiar, and yes, that's because it is familiar, but not the same. So we're going to have some sheer skirts over here with a nice oversized shirt, and then we have a nice long dress with a very voluminous skirt on the bottom, but some structured shoulders to go with it. These two in the background are just dark enough to where I can't really tell what the details are, so we're going to skip those. They then turn up the drama with this next set, and it's either broderie anglaise or crochet, however you'd like to view this beautiful dress going on here. And then you have a more plain dress on here with taupe and voluminous sleeves and voluminous skirt to go with it. I do love this border anglaise or crochet that's over here on the sleeves. However, that is the only thing that I can tell about what this person is wearing. And this model is clearly enjoying their time being perched on the side of a chair with their oversized jacket, oversized pants, and an oversized vest. So you have an oversized three-piece suit that they are wearing 
for this ad. This person is a little bit too blurry to really tell the details. However, we can tell it is red and they probably have something sheer for sleeves. However, this model is a lot more clear and I do like the color pairing as this is a neon orange bodysuit with a light blue mesh and lace dress, which is a very long length, so keep that in note. Here we'll move on to our first centerfold of both of these issues, as we both want to go for centerfolds. So here we have an oversized sequin blazer layered over an animal print skirt and a blouse with a ruffle at the neck. Prada, Prada, Prada. Now, all I can tell you is that this is a very unclear ad. Doesn't make me want to check in on it, but you can tell that they are using a light pink with collar and button down something. <laughs> their next model is a little bit more clear, and I do like their florals that they have on here. They're a little bit juxtaposed to each other in different color palettes. So you have white on black and black on white. And they almost kind of make it look like this purse is actually a part of the dress, which I find very interesting. And it is all cinched in with a buckle at the hem. Now with this Miu Miu ad, we've already seen this top and bottom in other issues. So we're gonna focus more in on this outfit over here. Now it's kind of hard to tell that this is either a printed bottom or a darker version of the bottom on the other page. And I do like this color blocking they have at the yoke on the jacket. And you can see, here is a bolo. They then heighten the retro vibes with an orange, yellow, white, and brown color palette, which not many people would suggest that you pair all together, but they did it. And they have kind of a tracksuit going on here with an oversized pant. And for their other outfit, you can see that they have a similar top to what was worn in the other model, but paired with a yellow mini skirt and blazer combo. Then we move on to Zendaya with an outfit that's actually more centered around the bag. However, this is Valentino and we have a super oversized shirt. And I do enjoy kind of the 1800s feel with the lace and ruffle combo that they have going on. And then we move on to Ralph Lauren who is completely bucking the voluminous trend and going back to more body fitting silhouette with a lovely floral to match. I do also like a slight sweetheart and square neckline combo. It does tend to be pretty flattering. Now your mind might be trying to tell you that this is all the same thing from the last ad we saw in the previous trend review. However, they are different. They are just breaking your mind with the amount of print that they use. <laughs> so if we really look into the breakdown, we have some voluminous sleeves over here with a mini dress and black and white. And we have more mixed prints over here with varying colors. I would like to say that this is going to be a longer dress. However, we don't want to assume here. And I do like how they made these into stripes up here. Now this model right here is getting so crazy. Just know that there is a long skirt in here and we have a collared top going on. And the takeaway from this model that you can barely see right here on the fold, she is wearing a black and white, more of a bra top, kind of a long corset, if you will, along with some very interesting pants that have print, light and dark blue denim on them with a split hem. The other model close to the fold is wearing a long flowing dress with many, many tiers and many, many patches of prints going on. The takeaway from this model over here is going to be a cropped vest with a bra top underneath and a very mini skirt. I think this is probably the most tame outfit here and it is looking like an oversized blazer with a button down shirt underneath and I'm not sure about anything underneath that. Well, over here we make it a little bit more clean with a button down top and an extremely printed long skirt over here. Okay, we made it through this ad. And then we move on over to Salvatore Ferragamo where it looks kind of like a faux leather dress with a collar at the top and a leg slit down at the bottom and it's going to be hitting at the knee. It is a tiny bit more on the form-fitting side. Now we can't tell much about the other model, however, it is a monochromatic outfit with a knee-length skirt and oversized blazer. Then we move on to a mixed color plaid, which I'm enjoying, and it has some pockets over here. I can't quite say if it is a dress or a jumpsuit because we don't see the lower half, but I can tell you there is a collar going on. Now what I can tell you is that I'm thoroughly enjoying this textured look on the next model we have here. It is either going to be probably a real or a faux feather, and it's either a vest or a dress that has a different colored skirt. And note, 
there is another polo. Now for the second set of mold, they had the model matching the chair that they are sitting on. And so that is very lengthening. So wherever you go, make sure that you find a chair that you match. And I do enjoy how they made these stripes and it is kind of like a floral that they used. And it's belted in at the bottom and very long down here for the pants. Now what's really cool about this look is that it looks like they actually layered an oversized jacket over a trench coat, which I would never suggest doing. However, this is a really cool inner printed lining and then a printed trench coat underneath it. Now, I promise you I'm not skipping her. We will see her later on. So we are moving straight on over to this model who actually has a really cool side cutout that is kind of hard to tell with the shadows that are playing on her. However, it is a more body fitting silhouette and has some cap sleeves to go with it. I am enjoying the splash, but not overwhelming amount of color that is on this outfit. It looks like we have an oversized top with some oversized pants. Now over on this side, it looks like we have either a dress or a jumpsuit, and it really could be either by what we've been seeing so far. And I do like this detailing that they have on the seams, it looks like they wove in added pieces of fabric. Now as we tend to do with very expensive dresses, you tend to sit in riverbeds that are full of mud and cover yourself in mud. But from what we can gather, this is a very voluminous skirt that has been tiered and is strapless. What I love about this dress is that it has a very voluminous pleated skirt and the pale peach to go with it is very flattering. I do also enjoy the plunging neckline. Now Dolce & Gabbana would like to take note, this is how you do mixed prints without boggling the mind for the ad that you were showcasing it in. So we have similar print on the top, similar print on the bottom with different color palettes, but you have a similar color palette in the print up top to match the bottom as well. And then maybe a random wild card in here. What we can also tell about this outfit is that there is a long skirt here and what looks like slightly voluminous sleeves. Here we have a Carolina Herrera polka dotted bow dress. It is in a new concept, but it is pretty cool. And I do love that the volume is continuing on. We also see more of a knee length skirt here. Now what we have on the other side is a very voluminous sheer outer layer going over a solid voluminous layer. So kind of fun, a little bit more frilly, but still serious. Now we did see this look earlier on a previous model. However, this is on a different model and we can see more of it. So you can see that this does end as a top and the bottoms have the same color plaid as the bottom half of the top. Now I'll show you these very quickly because these are retro etro looks. And I find this kind of cute and playful. We have kind of a rainbow dress up top that is a little bit more body fitting that goes down here to a checkerboard. I do love the saturated colors that Versace is using here along with the sea life print. These are small previews of what we'll be seeing later so I'm not skipping them, I promise. Now with this look we have Lo really bringing on the drama with the voluminous tears that are ruffled as well and I love these super voluminous leaves. Michael Kors continues the oversized look here with an oversized sweater and a very long voluminous skirt. More volume, more drama, ditzy floral print with a keyhole neckline. If you want to call it voluminous sleeves, you surely can. However, it is really just a belted top at this point and it has a side slit to give some extra drama. Now, really, this is an ad for the Chanel perfume. However, I do like the saturated color palette that they are using and these crochet skirts that are mixed with mesh as well that have some nice volume and length to them too. We have two new oversized looks. Super oversized top with a turtleneck up here and then some sort of long skirt underneath. Super oversized pants, can someone say early 2000s? And the super oversized possibly leather, possibly faux leather jacket with a really big collar. And I know this is supposed to be fast, but I really did enjoy this for some inspiration. This is a painter showing off some of her paintings. Now I really like this Judy Turner look with the knitwear. However, I couldn't find this drug on their website and I think it is very cute. What I do want to slow down to talk a little bit more about is secondhand luxury over here as we have sites called The Real Real and Rebag who are now growing with secondhand luxury items. This entire outfit is secondhand luxury and if I could, I would probably buy it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about secondhand luxury. Now we have Moschino's marionettes over here with some dramatic play on sheer over a dress it looks like a very oversized jacket that she is carrying. And then we have a dress with a voluminous skirt to it that is made out of mesh. 
Balma over here is trying to show that they are players in the print game as well with a signature print going over some super structured shoulders and a turtleneck. Fun loving, sunny, cheerful long dress that is tiered with some ruffles. And over here we have some voluminous sleeves with a slightly oversized what appears to be jumpsuit and crochet. It's a little bit hard to tell the details as this is a dark outfit, however this is a voluminous jumpsuit. These are super wide legs, there's barely a gap between her pant legs there, and then it has a super deep cut top. Now you can't see much of the outfit, however this is a floral printed bodysuit with feather trim, probably real and a similarly printed hat. Gigi's next look has a very over-the-top voluminous skirt, plenty of ruffles, plenty of sheer layers to have fun with. As we can see here, voluminous skirt, plenty of fun for the print, and a long length to go with it. The top is a little bit more tapered, but still pretty oversized. We can't tell much about the top over here, but it kind of looks like it has some feather details to it. Up next we have two very long form-fitting dresses and we have the leg slit really starting to come back. This seems to be a recurring theme and I do also like the sea life that is spread out over here. And what's interesting is that the editors don't even know what kind of texture this is but they call it a textured dress as well and it gradiates from the top to be a little bit more sparse here at the bottom. We are now entering into sort of a style roundup. They didn't quite call it a showcase of world designers, however they sent a whole bunch of garments around the world, so we'll see what they came up with for each city. Over here we have Beijing with kind of a goldfish inspired outfit. Super voluminous skirt that has been ruffled and kind of reflects the metallic surface of the fish tail. Now we have seen this combo previously in this issue. It is a cropped vest with a bra top and a short mini skirt. However, they have added a jacket on top of that, but we can't tell many details about the jacket. Well, on the right over here, we have more play with sheer with a voluminous skirt that is a nice long length and what kind of looks like a mesh corseted top for either the top of the dress or paired with the skirt. Very interesting, these seem to be separate puffs. So I don't know if you really want to call them puff sleeves, they're almost kind of like water rings, and a black dress to go with it that is longer in length as well. Now we have this maxi dress over here that has some crochet and cutout details. So if you couldn't tell, volume, volume, volume. So we have a voluminous skirt on the bottom, tiered with ruffles and crochet, and then a little bit more form-fitting top but with voluminous sleeves and what looks like lace gloves. Then over on this outfit, it could really be the same thing, just minus the upper tier. Then we have a change of pace with two very vibrantly colored outfits. We have a more form-fitting corseted top with a long maxi skirt to go on the bottom, and I like the pink that kind of fades away down here. Then the look on the left has some fun graphics going across both the blazer and the skirt. The skirt is long as well, and the top is slightly oversized. Then on the right over here we have a knee length layered voluminous ruffle dress that has a super ruffle up top that sort of forms some sleeves as well. Oversized duster jacket with some voluminous sleeves. Oversized dress with a cinched in waist and super oversized sleeves, however with a turtleneck layered underneath. And on the right we can assume that there is a bra top there and some super voluminous pants that she is being flooded by. <laughs> And no, it's not my camera. This is actually blurry. I don't know if they actually took these images with a drone. However, they are pretending it is a drone. So what we can see is that it is an oversized sleeve top with some fun colors and what kind of looks like some voluminous bottoms as well of some sort. Oh wait, they're pants. Now what's interesting about this look is that this is a net vest layered over a trench coat. I don't know who would do that, but it is kind of cute. Over on the right, we have some fun variegated stripes, which kind of give the appearance of a mixed print, while the other outfit does have some mixed prints over here. As you can see, we have the return of the polo showing up once again, sort of some retro styling, and with some Mew Mew bottoms that we had seen in some of their other ads. Voluminous pants, oversized jacket. Over on the right side, we have Dolce & Gabbana coming right back in your face with these mixed prints with a mixed print swimsuit and super voluminous sleeved top. 
Next up, we have a fully beaded dress with a fun kind of art deco beading pattern and larger beads down here at the hem. And I'm totally sure that you guys are tired of hearing this, however, voluminous outfit, super oversized trench coat with some oversized pants underneath, slightly oversized blazer over here, and regular sized trousers to go with. First outfit up in the set, we have oversized top with an oversized pair of bottoms. I don't think this is a very functional outfit as you couldn't possibly reach for anything with these sleeves and you're not walking anywhere with these pants either. I'm really getting annoyed with the blur that the photographers are using for this issue because you can't really see the details very much on what I'm sure is a very beautiful dress. However, you can see the luminous sleeves. This model though, I'm sure she could have really fooled you as a pirate <laughs> with her oversized blazer, mixed print button down, and trousers to go with. This grouping of models has some fun mixed prints to go with and they're all wearing oversized elements, so super long cardigan, a long dress to go with it, a longer tunic dress, and some pants that are oversized as well. Over here it looks like there are two skirts, one skirt layered over the other, and then a more form-fitting top but with voluminous sleeves. Longer body-fitting dress with some feather details and some play on sheer. Can't tell much about the outfit because we have the dog distracting, however I can guess that this is probably a giant bow that is on an oversized blazer and some trousers. Now the skirt may be hiked up, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a maxi length dress and it's cinched in with a nice cute belt and a halter top. Now this will actually probably surprise you as I know it did me. This is actually a dress that has been tucked into a pair of shorts. I don't know really many people who do that, but interesting concept. You do have some voluminous sleeves here, both as a cap sleeve and a regular sleeve that is voluminous underneath it, along with some oversized shorts with some mixed prints on them. While on the other side, we have a sequined jumpsuit. Now again, this isn't my camera with this blur, so we don't have many details. So we'll just say this is a red long sleeve top with a pair of pink pants. And what we have over here is a very busy Paisley, as if you thought that Paisley couldn't get any more busy on a long maxi length dress that has some sleeves. While over here we have an oversized plaid shirt layered over a sequin dress. Mixed print maxi length dress with a top and cape that you really can't tell the details on. Woo! Again, super blurry, not me. Not quite enjoying the photography in this issue. However, we can tell that this is a fitted upper body with some volume only at the skirt hem. So it's kind of more of a mermaid silhouette. While over here, we have a floral print up top with some voluminous pants with a little bit of floral added on. Now this isn't the last time you'll see this dress, however it is a maxi length evening gown with a huge cutout here on the back and some cutouts at the elbow which I can tell you would be very annoying because there are some embellishments around the cutouts for both the elbow and the back. While on the right hand side we have a cropped embellished blazer over a tank top that is barely being held together and some bottoms that we can't see the details on. Now these are some fun, super saturated, mixed print dresses that are maxi length, have some tears to them, and some volume in the sleeves. Though you can't see much detail, this is a voluminous top and a very voluminous jacket over here. I do like how the prints are a little bit less in your face, however they are mixed, have a little bit of sheen to them. Then we move into a fun, super oversized cape over a nice long maxi length dress and then a halter top dress with a very long skirt on it. Then we move into some metallic shine over here with the dress and some metallic polka dots that have a play on sheer as they are layered onto mesh with a voluminous skirt. Better shots of the dresses over here. And you can see that they are obviously maxi length as well. They then continue to shine with the left having super mega sized palettes and some other sequins as well. While on the right, it's more of a sequin yarn dress with some extra embellishment on top and they are both long goddess-like dresses. The left side has more shots of the two previous dresses, while on the right, we have some more neutral toned maxi dresses with halter tops. Then we have volume, volume, volume on all parts of the dress and I love the saturated pink that they used for it. 
Then we continue the saturated looks with a monochromatic super neon yellow with an oversized blazer with structured shoulders. While on the right we have a fun textured cape over a super fun textured dress. So you can see a nice close up of all that texture. Now we go back into their classic setup for a style roundup. So you see I have a slightly more fitted top over here with a turtleneck and some dramatic straps coming from the back. A slightly oversized button down here with some jogger pants to go with. On the right side we have a little bit more lime colored trench coat. Here we have a more peasant style dress with a cinched in waist, long skirt with some voluminous sleeves with a tapered cuff monochromatic red outfit that is all body hugging and like I said not the last time that you'll see that Givenchy dress. And for our final model of the interior pages we have a subtly printed top and bottom to go with. Our true final looks for this issue we have some more 70s and 60s vibe and Gucci with some nice saturated hues for the stripes with some oversized looks to go with. And what kind of looks to be a peas printed top with some bell bottom pants. So there we have March for Vogue and then we'll head on over into L. Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Hey all you people! Hey all you people! Hey all you people! Want to listen to me?